Hey everybody, Jane Vellante, brand ambassador for Paint Pixie. I actually have my jewelry supplies out today and I thought it would be really fun to show you how to use the Paint Pixie molds with resin. So because I'm making jewelry, I'm using a jeweler's grade resin. I've got the ice resin here, my little cup and a stir stick, and I'm gonna show you how to make this. So resin generally comes in two parts. You've got the resin and then you've got a hardener. And so what you wanna do is a 50-50 blend of uh, both. And so I'm just gonna pour in the resin first. and then the hardener. There we go, that's about 50-50 there. And now I'm gonna stir it. So the ice resin you wanna stir for about two minutes. And you're going to see little bubbles forming and that's okay, that's what you want. While I am letting my resin sit, it's recommended that you let this sit for about five minutes, I am grabbing my favorite paint pixie mold and look at how deep these are. They have amazing texture, amazing dimension. Really beautiful. I've got this German glass glitter. I'm using the Turquoise Iris number 10 palette knife just as a little scoop right now. And I am going to put this glass glitter right in the center. And what I like the palette knife for is if you spill a little bit, you can get into the cracks and crevices. And like I am now, pressing it all the way back into the middle. So two of them, I just made the glitter kind of go everywhere and two of them, I made it a little bit more precise and now I am ready to pour my resin. So I'm just gonna carefully pour it from my cup. And just go slow. You don't wanna overfill. All right, so here it is completely full and now this needs to sit for 24 hours. So put this on a flat surface where it's not gonna be bothered or stepped on by cats or dogs or babies and uh, let this dry. So they pop right out of the molds when they're dry, but you need to wait 24 hours. This one has the purple glass glitter. I'm trying to get a good angle. There you go, you can see that. Isn't that pretty? And you can see why it's called ice resin because it literally looks as clear as ice. So I've got some embossing powder that I'm gonna try on these and I'm just gonna paint the leaves here with embossing ink. So I've got this garnet color embossing powder. I don't even know where this came from. <laughs> I've had it for a long time and I just think it's gonna be really pretty on this. So I'm gonna sprinkle some on. It should only stick to the areas where I did the embossing ink. And 
I'm just gonna tap off any excess. That's pretty good. Let's see, I'm gonna get a little bit more right here. Tap off the excess, and then I'm gonna take the extra, and I'm gonna put it back in my jar. All right, I'm gonna take my heat gun now and emboss this. So it takes a minute, but what you do is you just hold it the heat gun on top of that until it starts to emboss and it changes. You can how pretty that is. I love that. Super pretty. I'm taking some gilding wax with a palette knife. This is the turquoise iris palette knife number 10 again. Showing up again. And I'm just kind of outlining the edges of the petals. That's really pretty. I have a really, really uh, pearlescent mica powder here and I'm just putting some on my brush and then I'm just wiping it on. See, isn't that pretty? So what the mica powder does is just gives it a little bit of shine, but you can still see, you know, it's, it's um, still a little bit translucent. So you can still see all of the detail that these molds provide. I have this tiny little bale and I'm just gonna take some E6000 and I'm gonna throw it on the bale. and I'm going to glue it right on to my ice resin casting. I just took a little bit of heavy gel and I enhanced my glass glitter in the middle so that would really pop out. And now I'm gonna pair this with a chain.